Colombo Kings will be captained by their icon player and Sri Lankan all-rounder Angelo Matthews under the coaching stewardship of Herschel Gibbs. Gibbs is the third person to be named as coach of Colombo after the withdrawals of Dad Watmore and Kabir Ali. The South African influence on the side with Gibbs and FAF Duplessis has been diminished somewhat as Duplessis is unavailable for the tournament. However, their marquee overseas player Andre Russell should be available if he continues to test negative for coronavirus after a scare. Kings will rely heavily on a strong domestic-based selection of players. The aforementioned Matthews alongside Asuru Udana, Dinesh Chandamal, Doshman Pachamira and Amila Raponso should form the core of any potentially successful Colombo side. The absence of overseas marquee foreign player Chris Gale due to a commercial misunderstanding is a frustrating setback that the Candy Tuskers will have to overcome as they head into the inaugural Lanka Premier League. Their opening batting will probably rely on Prilimal Pereira and Irfan Patan, but the lack of any out-and-out -out openers, like Gale, could be a weakness. Any lack of depth in the opening department is completely forgotten about throughout an extremely talented middle order. Kuzel Mendes and Captain Kuzel Pereira at 3 and 4 with Zimbabwe star Brendan Taylor and the ambidextrous bowler who considers himself to be a batting all-rounder Kamindu Mendes offer the Tuskers. A deep lineup. The potential key to success for Candy lies in the variety of bowling options. Led by the legendary Dale Sane and Quick New and Pradeep alongside Vishwa Fernando, they should have enough pace bowling stock to cover the withdrawals of Liam Plunkett, Sahail Tanvir and Wahab Riaz. The emphasis on spin in T20 remains pivotal and, therefore, the impressive yet mercurial left-arm off-spin of Lassa Thembaldania could be key.